Hey, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you how to populate devices with Netbix API. I have a small network, about three routers, but I think you have a little bit more, maybe thousands of devices. No matter how big your network is, today I'm gonna show you how to populate multiple devices to Netbox with Python module. Today I explain you what Python modules I will use and exploring a function with necessary parameters for populate devices and we go to the link with documentation for this API and I show you how to choose necessary parameters where you can find these parameters and the next steps I show you how to populate single device and after that I show you how to populate multiple devices I will use a file, you can use list of devices, you can use CSV file with devices, list of devices is up to you. And finally we will check the result. Please subscribe to my channel and you don't miss new video. Also please subscribe to my telegram channel. Ok, let's go ahead and start. At first you need to install module by Netbox. Let's go ahead and do it. As you can see, I have already installed this module. If you go to the internet, you type Google PyNetbox, you will find the documentation. This module has a great documentation. Let's take a look at it a little bit. For example, if you want to create your device, you have to use these parameters. You will choose these parameters. This module make your life a little bit easier. Let's go back. First, I want to show you how to add a single device. Here, I define function and it pass variable that I have name of devices. In this line, we specify connection string, URL, and token. Let's I show you. There is my netbox. So it is URL. Copy that and paste it in your script. And token. Very confined your token. Go again to Netbox. Admin. Admin. This is Netbox administration panel. Here click tokens. And if you have this one, you just copy. But if you haven't this, you have to create user, different user, write enable, you can use date expiration and so on, so on. And copy this token and go to your script and paste here. Okay, the next one is create object with necessary parameters. How I define necessary parameters for this object. Go to link demo netbox dev. Find DCIM device 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 and post request here you need to find responses name the uh, you have to choose these parameters that have red asterisk it's uh, required parameters minimal requirement parameters for create this uh, device at first name device type device role and site where you can find my device type device role and site go to script and i create single device r1 paste here 
as you have already seen, I pasted here required parameters, device type, device role, site. And now you maybe have a question where I can find these parameters. Go to netbox. I show you where you can find this. Go to site. I created early this site and you will create this as well. Here ID of my site. Copy this, 7, and paste here. Next, what is device type? Where I can find it? Again, go devices, device role, Cisco core, but I always choose default first. My device royal ID is 8. Copy and paste here, 8. And let's find device type. Device type goes here. Device type is 6. Okay, go again and paste here. Okay, our function and our string parameters and our connection strings is ready. And finally, print result. And finally, paste your function for execution. At first, let's see what what devices I have. Let's say delete this. Delete. There is nothing, as you can see. Go to my script and start execution script. As you can see, print R1. My device is ready. Go ahead and check. Now you have one devices is R1. The next steps I show you how to create multiple devices. I have file host.txt. Now I show you. I created early. Let's see. This is my devices R1, two colon, delimiter, and AP address. Okay. Let's get started. Let's do it again. Here we read file, open my file, hosts in read mode. In this line, read all lines in file and get a list. This loop sequentially takes line by line from the list of lines and split it into two parts using the split function with a specified double colon delimiter. As a result, we get separate host name and IP address. And now we need only the host name for substitution in the function. I have three lines and three host names R1, R2, R3. Let's go ahead and see what happened. Let's save. At first I need to delete this R1. There is nothing. Okay, let's get start and run this script. Okay. So as you can see, I create three devices. You can create 1000 and more. Thank you for your attention. See the next video. If you don't understand something, please write in comment. I always answer all of you. Thank you for attention. Subscribe to my channel and bye bye.